Is it cooning or is it comedy? David Lucas is a comedian out of Macon, Georgia. He recently did a comedy set at a club in Missouri. He had a heckler, and the heckler was kind of taking over the show. So David Lucas is going back and forth with this person, and things kind of went off the rails a little bit. So David Lucas makes a joke to the black heckler and went like this. I don't smoke. That nigga want to talk in the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> Try to ruin the whole show, man. All these good ass white people at my show. <laughs> and you want to show them the reason George Floyd got his neck nailed on. <laughs> don't ooh at that joke. It's just a joke, man. I would have never kneeled on George Floyd's neck. I would have shot that n That was way too long. <laughs> oh my God. I, I think I just canceled the rest of my black fans. Okay. So yeah, he's, he, made a, he made a George Floyd joke. Okay. You know, he doubles down. He says, hey, and I support Kyle Rittenhouse too. It's like, damn, I know all my black people leaving now. <laughs> then he makes a joke about... Um, Something about the Klan. Oh. He weaved in a joke about the Ku Klux Klan. So I found this story. The write-up is on Atlanta Black Star. Once again, guys, if you want to see the video, go look at it for yourselves. A lot of people have been covering the story. And I think they're leaving out the fact that this guy is a comedian. But I believe what he wanted to do was to, like, make people laugh at something they know they should never laugh at. Get what I'm saying? And I think that was his goal. He's trolling the audience at this point, particularly his black audience. And I've seen him do this before. It's his style of comedy. It's what he does. He makes jokes at black people's expense for white people. It's what he does. He doesn't do it all the time. You know, maybe not even most of the time, but he has done it. And black people that like him kind of overlook it. But finally, David Lucas went too far. He went a bridge too far, Johnson. And now, black people are really tired of his ass. So I saw uh, Rashad Ritchie. I saw Willie D cover it. I'm sure many other people have covered it. And my thing is this, man. I love comedy. So I'm really hesitant to give him the coon stamp because I want people to be, always be able to tell their jokes and I don't have to think it's funny. I just have to believe that you were trying to be funny. That you were not trying to insult black people when you did it. So here's the thing, guys. I believe David Lucas wants to be the type of comedian that shocks people. And he has, you know, that's his thing. That's his shtick. But at this point, I'm going to have to call it what it is, which is a shtick. To be in front of white folks and try to say things that piss off black folks. And that just once, that twice, that three times, like four times. He was like trying to clear the room of all the black people. And there were only like a handful of black people. It's like a 95% white room. So it seems a little weird. I don't remember white comedians doing it when they go to black comedy clubs or predominantly black audiences, like 95% black and there's like only like 5% white. I don't remember the white guys trying to make the white folks leave. But hey, so I don't co-sign it. I think it's bullshit, right? But I understand what he was trying to do. And I think everybody who reviewed it, Dr. Rashad, Richie, Willie D, I think they understand what this guy was going for. The problem is this, and this is the problem. His jokes weren't that funny. Now, I do believe you can make a joke about George Floyd, but it's got to be a special way you make it a joke. Maybe he's laughing in heaven as his daughter's driving a Bentley. I don't know. Waiting on Derek Chauvin. Come on, Derek. We know you're going to off yourself eventually. But see, the white people in the audience might not have found that one funny. So, I got a question where David Lucas was coming from. But see, to get a further idea of who David Lucas is, this is the club he usually performs at. Well, it's the club he goes to a lot, and this is where I first saw his comedy when it popped into my timeline. He was doing a show here at this place called Kill Tony. I think Kill Tony is a club 
And it's sort of like Joe Rogan-esque because there's a lot of white guys. You'll find some black band members playing drums or something. <laughs> and a lot of famous comedians go to it, mostly white comedians, right? I think I did see Ashley Larry there once, but he left. He like stormed out. Donnell Rollins. So look, guys, I'm just saying it's, it is what it is. That's who I think David Lucas is. How many cool black guys from the hood who really rock with the hood wear Bass Pro shirts? And we got to be able to, you know, recognize that there are all types of different types of black people. And there are all different types of white people. David Lucas is catering to, I believe, white conservatives. White conservatives will spend their money as long as you say what they want, to, want you to say. Ain't that right, Candace Owens? Sheriff Tatum. Yeah, Officer Tatum, yeah. You and Candace, you know what I'm talking about, Larry Elder, Thomas Sowell, Clarence Thomas. So anyway, at the end of the night, I think most the majority of the black folks left the club because they were tired of his shit. Um, and my thing is this, man. You should be able to tell jokes about whatever you want David Lucas has obviously made his choice what kind of comedian he wants to be. You can make black jokes. I'm not saying you can't make black jokes. You can make black jokes. But we have to feel that if you're a black person making black jokes, you got to make those jokes in a way that shows you're still part of the joke. It's a us, not them type of way of doing the joke because you are black. Hello? You're still black, dog. If you don't do that, then that's cooning. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. So here we go. Let's let's see if we can do this. Now remember, guys, here's the game. We want to know if he was cooning or was it comedy. Okay? And remember, we want to be as fair as possible. Let's analyze this one more time. He's at a predominantly white comedy club. Uh, he does predominantly, where I know him from, is pretty much 90% to 95% all white audiences. Uh, so that's three strikes. But this ain't baseball. So we'll give him one more. This is the thing that took it over the top for me. That made me say, oh man, this guy is corny. This guy is a sellout. This guy is corny. Is this. It's one thing to show the audience. Because I get it, you're a comedian. You ain't going to be like, please don't leave the show. Please don't leave. Stay, please. If you leave, master going to beat me. Please don't leave, bro. And said he's like, are oh, you mad? I'm going to really get you mad. You pissed off. Your feelings hurt? Or oh, I'm going to really hurt your feelings. <clears throat> That's the type of energy I got. But here's the problem. After the show, Days later, David Lucas is online bragging about being canceled. It's like a badge of honor for him and his white friends, I feel. Not only that, on his Instagram account, Tommy Lauren comes through. And she tells him, great work. And he goes, you got it, boss. I got a problem with that. See, if you would have saw Tommy Lauren come through, and you would have been like, get your KK Karen ass off my timeline. Nah, nah, nah. I made some black jokes, and I roasted George Floyd's ass. May he rest in peace. But I ain't that way. No way am I blending in with your voted most likely to make a recipe book full of nothing but potato salad and raisin recipes. Karen to that fifth degree, ninja, ninja level, <laughs> samurai level, you artificial intelligence of a clan member. I said that before. You Stetford life, you you uh women's of the Confederacy looking mom. You know, like if he would have roasted her ass and be like, nah, don't come over here trying to dap me up. You ain't gonna get me kicked out of all the black meetings. If he'd have done something, if he'd have roasted her and tore her up and like lit her ass up, that would have been one thing. But David Lucas didn't do that. No, he just took the Thank you, ma'am. Ah, issue is the issue ain't my baby. He did one of those. 
And since David Lucas makes black jokes to white audiences, it bigs, bigs it up with white supremacists or suspected white supremacists like Tommy Lauren. And look, I gotta, I have a personal relationship with Tommy Lauren, meaning I've debated her on her show on The Blaze in one. Then I was at a political campaign, a political event, and we debated again, and I roasted her ass. So I got no problems doing that. See, I have my bona fides. I've shown, I've proved that I'm not trying to kiss no conservative ass to make money. But see, David Lucas seems like he's not that type of brother. So for that reason, and so many more reasons that I don't even know about yet, I'm going to have to say David Lucas is cooning. That's right, David Lucas, you were cooning. You were cooning, brother. Now, as I... As I saw earlier, I think that Willie D is going to have David Lucas on his show tomorrow morning, and they're going to have a conversation, and I'm interested to see how this goes. Rashad, Richie, Willie D, I roll with y'all, and Willie D, way to go, Willie D, with your new found success. You got a new lane, and it's inspiring, brother. For me to say that a black person's cooning, you got to earn it. Unfortunately for you, David Lucas, I feel you have. All right, guys, now look, I got a second video channel. It's called the TBTV Network. That's where my pop culture stuff goes. This video will go there. The problem is, a lot of people don't know about my new channel. And YouTube ain't exactly pushing it out to the world. So I'm putting this on my main channel. But go down to the link description below. Find my new channel. Become a member over there. Subscribe over there. Subscribe to the channel so we can start building that channel up. Besides, this is YouTube. Why not have more than one channel?